Hello friends, this video on light part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about the various types of mirrors which are available and what kind of images are formed from all these mirrors. So first we will talk about the plain mirrors and these are the most common type of mirrors which are you which are seen in, in the dressing tables and all. So plain mirrors are those mirrors which have a flat reflective surface. So again obviously they have a very shiny surface that is why they produce images and they have a flat surface. So something like this, the, the plain mirrors, the dressing table mirrors at your rooms. So they are all plain mirrors. <coughs> So when you stand in front of the plane mirror, what do you see? You are able to see yourself. Now, the image which is formed, that is exactly like you. So it, it is of the same size as you. The height remains the same. Your weight remains the same. Your features remain the same. So everything remains the same. So you are actually able to see a, an image which is exactly identical to you. So now let's see how image formation by plane mirror happens. So look at this picture on the screen. So this is the object. We have a flower vase as an object. And from this object, you have rays of light. These are the incident rays which are falling on the surface. And the surface is nothing but the mirror. Now, why are the incident rays falling from the object to the mirror? These incident rays are falling because it is an illuminated object. That is, it gets, uh, it, it doesn't produce its own light. But when light falls on it, then reflection happens. Correct? So, these rays fall from this mirror, from fall from this object to the mirror. Now as soon as the rays fall on the mirror, what happens? Mirror is, has a reflective surface, a smooth shiny surface, therefore reflection happens. You see each of these rays of light, all of them get reflected. So these are the reflected rays. So if you see here, these are the reflected rays and these are the incident rays. Now if you observe even more closely, and if you try to extrapolate these rays of light, you will see that the reflected rays of light meets at a point and this is the point and this is the point where the image is formed. So basically the image is always formed at that point where all the reflected rays meet. Either the rays meet really or the rays meet virtually. So that really doesn't matter. So in this case if you see on this side, the rays would have never met because they are diverging, they are going away from each other. So they will never meet. But if you extrapolate them on the other side, so they could meet at a point. And this is the point where the image formation happens. So basically we can say that the rays originating from object actually meet at another point after reflection. That point is the image of the first point. So basically whenever you are asked that where will be the image formed for this particular object. So you will say that the point where the reflected rays will meet. So if there is no reflection happening, there will be no meeting of the reflected rays and there will be no image formation. So that is why it is very much important for the phenomenon of reflection of light of light to take place in order to see the image of an object. So this is like the basic concept of image formation. Now the type of image which is formed by a plane mirror is normally identical to that of the object or it is of the same size as that of the object. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.